For more than a decade, they've honored homicide victims whose cases remain unsolved. And this morning, they're continuing that tradition. KSHB 41 News reporter Marlon Martinez joins us now. Marlon, they're having a virtual vigil this morning. How does that work? Hey, good morning, and it just started at the top of the hour. So as you can see, they have already went in and put some of these profiles on their Facebook page, which they will be doing throughout the all the weekend. And the first four victim profiles have been added, like I just mentioned, for the next two days, every five minutes, Corey's network, alongside other anti-violence groups, will profile these victims on their website and fa Facebook. And they've seen the need grow for this last 10 years. Their goal is for this weekend is to remember these victims, but also share their profiles online. They hope the power of social media can help with someone seeing a case and they have information and on come forward uh, about their case. I spoke to co-founder of Corey's Network about how social media can play a vital role in their mission. Once you share that, it can go from one end of the country to the other end of the country. And who knows, maybe John Doe out in California knows who killed somebody. So you all also have the opportunity to share support this weekend. An in-person vigil will be held at Speak Suburban Chapel in Independence that Sunday night at 6 p.m. Just talk about the impact of this vigil just every five minutes, yeah. 725 victims. All right, Marlon, thank you very much.